Following along the same lines as yesterday, another new beer by another brewery that has never been tried by the tongue was found and is going to be tried nowish. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a can of Absent Landlord Country Kolsch by the Cowbell Brewing Company. Yeah, I have not ever experienced anything by this brewery, to the best of my knowledge. And, um, Kolsch? Haven't had a whole lot of them, but I, I, I think I'm gonna maybe enjoy this. Possibly. Could be. I don't know. Let's crack her open. And cat hairs on the goddamn everything, and let's see what we've got. Th this glass was actually suggested by the can for, I don't know, maybe the first time ever I actually followed along with that. Yeah, it looks... It looks okay. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, quite clear. Quite a lot of carbonation, maybe a little bit of haze going on. Kind of chill haze, but aside from that, it, it's got a bit of a haze to it. But it looks nice. It, it smells like... like a mass-produced lager. It smells like a can of butter or something. Give it a shot. It's okay. It's uh not like a can of bud, but It's not really overly smooth, like the, the flavors are kind of jumping around, but it, it's okay. Another one of those beers that I need to fully experience to form a full opinion on, so let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Decent, like, little hoppy presence there, but it's, it's okay. That, that's, I don't know how to properly describe the flavors going on in this beer. Kind of a weird, not super great taste that kind of lingers around on the, let's say, the back third of my tongue, kind of. Kind of bitterness, but not really. It's not bad. I've had beers that are way worse than this. But it's not really... I don't know, maybe it's something that maybe I'll come around to once I drink more of them kind of thing, like IPAs and stouts and other flavors that I've grown to love. I hope. Today being November 22nd, on this date in 1869, in Dumberton, Scotland, the clipper Cutty Sark was launched and was one of the last clippers ever built and is the only one still around today. <coughs> Pardon me. That's bloody impressive. Just for something made out of wood in the ocean to have survived that long. That's damn impressive. Here's to the people who built it, I guess. And those of you that maintain it, obviously. I just got a weird hint of banana. That was unusual. 
That could just be me. I don't know. On this date in 1963, something really shitty happened. In Dallas, Texas, U.S. President John F. Kennedy was assassinated and Texas Governor John Connolly was seriously wounded. Yeah. Vice President... President... Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson became president upon Kennedy's death. Yeah. I... I don't know. Like, I'd like to... I, I, I know. You have to know that if Kennedy hadn't been assassinated, if he had been able to serve his entire term, which I'm sure he would have probably got been reelected in the whole eight years, I, 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 I'm sure things would have been going pretty good in the States. He was just really... I don't know. It's like Obama. Awesome president, although... There's always going to be people who hate him for whatever stupid reason. On this date in 1986, Mike Tyson defeated Trevor Burbick to become the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. Mike Tyson was a crazy bastard in the ring back in the day. Well, up right up until like one of his last fights was when he bit off, was it George Foreman, I think? Was it George Foreman or was it somebody else? I can't think. He bit off fucking Buddy's ear. Yeah. Little unbalanced. It wasn't George Foreman. Who the hell was it? Fuck, now we need to find out. It was Evander Holyfield. Sorry. George Foreman Grill, I guess. He's just one of the fucking itchy nose <laughs> sorry no it's uh just i don't know he's just in my head for whatever stupid reason i don't watch a lot of boxing so but yeah mike tyson little little unannounced just a little bit but at the same time one could argue that i'm a little unbalanced I don't care. I are what I are. Absent Landlord. Founded in 1851 as Drummond, the town was renamed after a wealthy landowner in, landowner in Berkshire, England, who bought the entire town, sight unseen, in 1855. Henry Blythe Esquire never made the ocean voyage to visit his namesake. Really? So... The town of Blythe, where this brewery is, from what I can tell on their label, is, uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. 5.3% alcohol, 18 IBUs. I'm not seeing ingredients. We have pairing, soft cheese, grilled meats, pastries, tasting elegant yellow fruits, floral and lemongrass. We have a date. We don't have ingredients. I'd say the date's probably the more important of the two, so that that could be better. It says, what, the 4th? 24th? Something 4th of September of this year, so September, October, November. About two months. I'd say it should still be okay, one would think. Fucking cat hair. On this date in 1988, in Palmdale, California, the first prototype B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber was revealed. The Stealth Bomber. Which is insane, considering that the U.S. Air Force continues, has plans to continue using this bomber until 2058. That's how well it was made in 1988. That's insane. And each one cost like two point one billion dollars. They only ever built twenty one. Well they ever only ever bought the state's government only ever bought twenty one. Twenty one. Yes, sorry it's twenty. But one just one was destroyed in a crash shortly after takeoff. Even though the crew got out safely, so good for them. But yeah, there's twenty of them are still in service. I guess they're, you could say they're reliable. 
regular maintenance and stuff. It's actually damn impressive. I guess a plane is just flying through the air. It doesn't have the same wear and tear as your car. It's like on the ground. Shit on the ground, but I don't know. It just seems like that's a long time. And for them to be 2058, that'll be 30 years off being in service for basically 100 years. That's mind-blowing. Not a huge fan of this country Kolsch, I have to admit. I don't know if maybe it's gone a little off in the not quite two months that it's been around. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't say best before. No, that's a bottle. That's like a canned on date. I'm pretty sure. There are flavors, like the lingering around flavor in my mouth is actually really nice. Kind of a malty, nice malty flavor, but the overall initial flavors of the beer in my mouth just aren't really a thing that my mouth is enjoying. Finally on this date, in 1994, what? 1994, that just came out, that was, nope, no, no, I said 1994, I need a good one. Toy Story was released as the first feature length film created completely using computer generated imagery. And it was a great movie. And the subsequent sequels, sequels, sequels? Really? I don't know, this, this beer's attacking my ability to speak, apparently. Sequels were... They were good, but they never really captured the, the magic, I guess you could say, of the first one. And then... Like, a bazillion films have come out since Toy Story that, if you think about the plot line, they've just full-on copy and pasted the story of Toy Story into their story and made a different story, but still being Toy Story. Story. Drink number the last. Cowbell Brewing Company. I like the name of your brewery, I gotta say that. Cowbell? Always, always down for some cowbell. Occasionally I like to edit and be creative, apparently. Rating on your absent landlord country Kolsch. 5.5 like it's not terrible but it just really doesn't doesn't do it for me I would like to find more of your beers in my local LCBO slash beer store and be able to give you another go but for now that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've got some say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Pretty special vlog coming up tomorrow. New Ontario Brewing Company. The original New Ontario Brewing Company. Their brewery burnt down about 100 years ago. Excuse me. The new New Ontario Brewing Company, who Redbeard loves, released a Centennial IPA to commemorate this momentous occasion. And Mike, the brewmaster from New Ontario Brewing, is going to be a guest of the Beard on his show. 